tonight we're just gonna do a quick keto cooking episode. So it's just gonna be really brief and it's just a really nice simple idea um, for something you can do in your slow cooker. So this morning I browned a six pound pork roast and it was bone in. And then I just put it in my slow cooker. And to that I added one can of green chili enchilada sauce and the macros are really good on this one it's about three carbs for a half a cup so for the entire roast it's pretty minuscule as far as carbs go and then additionally i added a can of hatch green chilies albuquerque new mexico these are the best and then some garlic powder and some onion powder and just a little bit of cumin and then I just let it go for about seven hours while I slept, because I work at night. So it was just cooking while I was sleeping during the day. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like and show you how I'm going to serve it. So this is what it looks like when you go, I just took my tongs and went in and broke up the roast. And then I took out the two bones that were in it. And so how I will serve it is I will just Start out putting the roast in a bowl. And then I will take my spoon and get the yummy green chili sauce here that has made a nice juice. And then on top of that, I am going to put a little bit of fresh chopped cilantro and some shredded Kojak cheese. And then of course you can top it with sour cream if you'd like. And you have a nice, quick, balanced keto dinner that you didn't really have to do much to. It cooked by itself. So it's very economical. And of course if you have carb eaters in your family, you can also serve this in tortilla or with chips or however you'd like. So it's just another quick meal idea for those of us looking for nice uh, weeknight options for keto foods. So thanks for joining us. Come back and see us and please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And um, we upload content several times a week. Sometimes it's recipes and sometimes it's conversations. So we'd love to have you be a part of our family. And we'll see you next time on CJ's Keto Kitchen. Bye.